Jay Stunnel here. Today I'm going to show you something real interesting that you're going to want to know about. Especially if you're at the beach all the time doing beach combing. You've probably seen this yellow stuff washing up. It looks like a wad of rope. But actually this is a soft coral called sea whip. And if you shake it, there's something that lives on it called the sea whip simnia. And it's actually a beautiful snail. And so I'm gonna get some close up shots and tell you more about it right here. Well, so you've probably seen the coral that's, uh, it looks like rope, like it looks like man-made stuff that's up on the beach. Well, if you get real close and you start digging around in it, you can see little snails on there. And I, there's actually two of them right here. And I'm gonna put them in the water so that uh, they can survive and so that we can get some close-up shots of them. Now, one thing you never really hear people talk about whenever they're talking about the sea whip is that because you can't really tell this whenever it, for, whenever it washes up, but this sea whip, it looks like rope. However, you put it in water and it all of a sudden comes alive there's polyps that pop out all over it and if you look real closely whenever you find it washed up it'll look like there's pores all in the yellow pieces um, well those pores are actually little polyps and whenever they you put it in water they come out they look like little cinnamon uh, little sea anemones all over it and so i'm going to get some close-up shots here so that you know what it looks like whenever it's alive but those polyps is why the snail is all over it food source and in just one little patch here there there's probably like 10 different uh, pieces of the sea whip soft coral and i started looking i found three of them right here and so i'll get some close-up video of them they're uh, a marine gastropod that are small so they only grow about two centimeters max length so they are hard to see so you really got to look close to them and they look almost exactly like the sea whip and they they feed on the polyps of the sea whip and that's how they get their yellow color and so if you sometimes you'll see sea whip that is um, kind of a maroon color you can find the snails that are a maroon color uh, so that's just something interesting right there um, i'll uh, one thing that if, whenever you look at these is that if you find them dead uh, and they'd be rare to find because they're so small but if you find them to where they've washed up on the beach you know they're probably going to be faded um, they're not going to have the animal so that when the animal's alive it will look like kind of blackish um, uh, snail coming over this shell now when they're dead of course the snail isn't there and so you just have the shell which is a real smooth shiny looking shell uh, but when it when it's alive that mantle of the snail actually comes out over the shell and covers almost the whole thing so it has like this uh, black uh, looking look to it so um, i'll get some close-up shots so you can check that out now as i'm filming this there's actually two of these snails that I found, and I probably, now I've found like six of them. Two of them are on top of each other, and, and they're like crawling all over each other. So, you know, are they territorial? I don't know, maybe they're just, you know, in the small glass, and there's not a lot of, now look at this. Look at this. I just found another one. That one looks like it might not even have a snail in there. I don't know, I'm gonna put them in here. Uh, so we can see if he comes alive We'll give him a minute there, but uh, I thought y'all be interested in that they're like crawling all over each other now you might be thinking Where can you find sea with simnia? Well, I'm here to tell you Texas That's the place you got to come if you want to find it. So in the Gulf of Mexico in Texas Okay, well that's it for the the snail. I hope that you're able to go out and start looking at your own sea whip shaking it out and see what comes out uh, so for this episode that's it for beach coming we'll talk to you next time bye